As we approach this upcoming spring calving season and those times of the year when we're going to have higher ambient temperatures, there's some research data here from Oklahoma State University that I think are of real interest to cow-calf producers that are going to use artificial insemination as part of the breeding program for their cows and, and heifers this spring. The research that I'm referring to is data that was collected by using rumen boluses that had temperature sensors in them that were placed in cattle and what they found was that during the daytime hours as uh, you would expect the the highest uh, temperatures uh, in terms of the environmental temperatures were going to be in the late afternoon hours but as they monitored the cattle that heat load tended to continue to build and the highest core body temperatures that they found were between 6 p.m. and 11 p.m. in the evening. Often a time when uh, some cow-calf producers might be working cattle or might be uh, performing artificial insemination. I think we want to reevaluate that management strategy. Perhaps you had heard of the old AM-PM rule of breeding cattle artificially. And uh, that basically suggested that if we saw the cow in standing estrus in the morning, we would breed her that evening. If we saw her in, in standing heat in the evening, we'd breed her the following morning. Research on thousands of head of dairy cattle has shown us that we don't have to do that at two times a day. That one time of breeding those cattle will be just as successful. So if we see that uh, animal in standing estrus in the morning, we can go ahead and inseminate her then. If we see her in standing estrus in the evening, we can wait till the following morning and perform artificial insemination with the same success. This way, then, we can avoid those times of the day when we know that core body temperature is going to be the highest. There's other research that indicates that if we have elevated body temperatures at the time of breeding or for several days after breeding, that can have an influence negatively on uh, the reproductive rates or the pregnancy rates that we get. So, as we're going through this breeding season, I certainly suggest that we try to uh, time our management so that we're doing artificial insemination, whether it's by heat detection or if it's by timed AI, let's plan to do it as early in the day as possible. We'll have cooler body temperatures and I think a higher reproductive rate as a result. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on SunUp's Cow-Calf Corner.